special video uh, demonstrating some newspaper uh, techniques, or in this case, advertisement paper techniques, um, with dark under light uh, layering. So we're going to make our, when our land is very dark, our, the techniques that we use to make our land are a little bit different than the ones that we use to make our land when we're going light to dark. So when you're going light to dark, you have a tendency um, to lift up so much paint that, that there's too much white underneath and it, it doesn't look as nice. And when you go dark to light, uh, there's less of a possibility of really getting to the bottom because when you do, you do just one slide, you get a nice, mostly uniform uh, dark color that really stands out uh, against the light background. So I'm going to go over the specific newspaper techniques that we use uh, in a sliding way to uh, use when we have dark layers underneath. And you can really use any dark or light colors to, to do this, but just for the purposes of this demonstration, I'll, I'll give you the exact colors. Let's pa it's Painter's Touch Black Gloss, Painter's Touch Dark Purple, and Painter's Touch Spa Blue. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how we're going to use our newspaper or advertisement paper once the paint is applied so you're all ready to go. So we're going to fold it lengthwise because we want to make a tall mountain and we're going to stick our finger inside and we're going to use our longest pointiest finger that we feel comfortable using because we're going to slide it upwards. But we're also going to use that finger to draw as we glide downwards and remember to lift that newspaper up from the left where you're holding it so that you, you don't make another mark on the paper once you're done. You can also move it across the paper using your index finger, holding it in the same left hand, but using your index finger to press onto the paper and to draw the horizontal shapes of the kind of low mountains or low rocks that you're making, whatever. This works very well for horizontally. You can also s keep continue holding it in your left hand, but press your thumb into it and you can draw all kinds of shapes just by moving your thumb around. And all these different fingers create different thicknesses of lines and you have access to uh, different effects. Okay, so those are some ways of, of working with it. You can use your imagination and use you know any finger you feel comfortable with or two fingers even to guide it um, as you move. But just remember to lift the, paint, the paper up from the left as you go so that you don't uh, make marks where you don't want them. So we're gonna apply our colors dark to light. We start with the darkest color, which is black and then the second darkest color purple, and then the lighter color, which is blue. We're not getting too complicated because this is only about making land effects. So we're gonna try to make a, a tall mound. So we fold it lengthwise and we stick our long pointy finger in it. And we push upwards with that finger and then draw it downwards, drawing with that same finger the top of the mountain and the paper follows suit and creates the rest of the mountain. So if you don't like that, you can just take your, your thumb or a finger, whatever finger feels comfortable, and just you know redo it until you like what you see. So I'm there. I use the, my thumb is the uh, one that I I just moved my my whole hand along, guided by my thumb, and drew the outline of that mountain. All right, so let's make some more. Let's try it again and see uh, what other kinds of shapes we can make. So I'll redo the underpainting: black, purple, and blue. And let's make a, a tall pointy mountain. So again, let's fold it the long way. And I'm showing you where my fingers are gonna go. That's it's gonna be guided by my index finger. I'm gonna stick my index finger in there. I'm gonna push it upwards, keeping only a tiny amount of the newspaper on the paper and holding with my left hand the rest of the newspaper above the paper so that I only get that tall peak. And then with my thumb, I'm switching to my thumb, I can just, you know, finish off the bottom of that mountain any way I like. All right, so now let's make some foothills to these tall hills. So since we've still got some uh, dark colors there, we can, we can uh, just continue to work. So I'm going to make some horizontal ones by holding it again in my left hand and guiding it with my index finger. And as I do, I press down with my right hand and that creates the bottom of the mountain. The finger creates the top and the sliding creates the bottom. So let's make some, some spiky rocks. You can make some rocks by pushing upwards with your thumb in the newspaper, just, just up. So I'm gonna put some, some light color where I want those rocks to go and then I'm gonna hold the paper in my left hand and push down with my thumb and just push up. 
put a little oomph into it and push upwards. And you can make a little curve if you want. Or you can make them straight, whatever you want. This is a good way of making stalactites and stalagmites if you're making a cave. Or just making some spiky rocks. You can use your imagination and come up with all kinds of uses for all these kinds of different, different lines that you can make by holding the paper different ways. All right, so let's put some more underpainting on. Dark to light again. And we'll see what else we can come up with. All right, this time I'm gonna make kind of a horizontal mountain range. It's kind of a medium tallness. So I'm guiding it with my index finger and notice that I'm making sure that that newspaper doesn't touch the paper except where I'm sliding. And I can just draw whatever kind of shapes I want. So let's make like some foothills the exact same way, drawing it with my index finger and sliding along. And that's about it. That's all you need to know about uh, how to begin to create mountains using dark tones underneath and light tones on top. So play with this, play with using different kinds of colors, play with using different, different fingers and see what you come up with. Play with uh, noticing how how it looks when the paper slides. You can see the different kinds of motions that you make in your paint and have a lot of fun. And tell me uh, if you have any questions, write me at spraypaintartsecrets at gmail.com and let me know your thoughts. And I will continue to make videos that address the uh, things you want to learn. So thank you very much. This is Elisa Moore with Spray Paint Art Secrets. <laughs>